but and there's a lot of them right there's like four right. top level falcons right now but it definitely looks like a matchup that can kind of like take some getting used to so we'll see if dark hero kind of has an answer here as uh, we hop into game one on battlefield yep we already get some some corner pressure situation here kind of built here 58 percent right off the rip but all right dark hero chain dark hero tech chase time yeah couldn't quite get a big damage continuation but edge guard sequence sir oh, this is a great edge guard setup johnny gets to go higher and higher and higher doesn't get his jump back he does eventually get it back but man this edge guard doesn't look like it's over yet oh barely misses a forward smash doesn't get the tipper on it doesn't get the hit oh one more johnny has been recovering for what seems like the last one yeah and that's kind of like as falcon what you want to do is go higher and higher and higher so that marth has to hit you many 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 times and uh, as long as you're in center stage you're not dead right so you can take a lot of hits and just like that you get oh, back and instantly my... kill marth it was all worth it yeah recover for 45 seconds straight combo him for two seconds straight find yourself in a stock lead Side up to 207. Up to Falcon. Kill yeah, yeah. 200. We now know the health bar. We now know what mm -hmm. it is. That makes sense. I mean, that uh, Falcon becomes a floaty at 200%. Now we know. <laughs> oh, oh uh, this stock was a lot easier to take if you just kind of swats him off stage. Yeah, he didn't have to forward air and up air in 18 times. Yeah. <laughs> just once. Oh, the CC grab right there. That's huge. If you, you can find oh, the CC grab, the big percent pivots like that. coming out from Dark Hero. Oh! Tries to catch him in the corner. Johnny getting a chance to fight back here, finding the up air into the knee, and it does kill. Wow. Falcon's combos are just so fast. <laughs> You're just like, oh, it's it's over already? <laughs> Excuse me? Does not get the tech chase. Does, does hit his tech off that really low percent side B1 there. And Johnny, oh, just gets sideswiped by that single hit of that under the Yeah. Ball. And Johnny's always had really good corn pressure and kind of like ledge trapping to steal ultimate's turn, you know? <laughs> um, ooh. Ooh. Hold that oh, thought. monster tips. Yeah, finds a forge, sprints a repeat, and finds a tipper to close it out. Uh, but I was going to just to close out that thought was that Dark Hero's been doing a lot of really long ledge dashes to kind of catch Johnny off guard. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see how that keeps going because, like, Johnny probably is going to start respecting the ledge a little bit more because Dark Hero seems pretty scary there. Ooh, Mama, Dark Hero's still going! 67 built up off that tech chase, will get scooped. Should have one more opportunity, double jump, still in the pocket, and does not get the drift back he was looking for. 67% built up, Johnny Kim, Dark Hero, last stock game one. Yeah. Looking outrageously competitive so far. Yeah, this is super clean showing from him so far, and he's the one getting the opening, he's the one who had the lead going into this last stock situation. Oh! That could have been it right there, Johnny. Who covers that slide off? S2J is yep. the only person who would cover that slide off. Yeah, insane. And just like that, both players are now looking like they're basically a kill for sport. Last hit situation on this last stock here. I mean, a raw knee will do it, or a raw grab from Marth, or a raw forward smash. Oh, and he finds a scoop. Oh, oh he snaps! Some magic right, hands. Get one more throw situation. Mix up. Oh, insane ah! aerial drift for S2J. The down tilt, pivot, down tilt. It's an insane options from Dark Hero there. Oh! Both of them have been God. on the last stock for the last like, We're minute. Clenching. We're clenching. <laughs> it just gets so tense in these last stock situations. You just become human. And that's where we see who can kind of keep their composure better here. They both walk each other out. Oh that dash back was insane. Facing from Dark Hero! Ah! <laughs> and he gets that's the wrong the throw. Back, of course he gets the wrong throw. Once again, oh, he overshoots the Nair and actually gets the Gentleman to follow up afterwards. But once again, Dark Hero with a really long ledge dash into the up tilt here. Johnny's ready for it this time. Gets oh. out of the way. Up the back air to close out the edge guard. What a game one. Jeez. Ooh. Lordy lord. You know, Johnny, you know, like, taking the situation into his own hands that last thing. like, we've been playing very safe on ledge. We didn't want to get reversaled. So we're going to throw in that mix-up and that last hit situation. I'm just going to go off and do it. She's gonna go off, get an aggressive yeah. back air. If I die, I die. If I win, I win. It's just how it's gotta be. He's like, you know what? We've been on this last talk for too long. One of us is gonna die right now. <laughs> so definitely like the, if you saw the SUJ versus IBDW set from yeah. the SCL final, we just going off and it, it was just a meteor cancel check on those first yeah. two games. Insane. So, let's see if, who who can execute in those last ditch yeah. last stock situations? <laughs> And at this moment, it was SUJ Johnny Kim.
taking that yep. game number one, and we're hopping in right here on FOD. I don't know if you saw, but the very first interaction was SJJ doing spawn side B. It's just going <laughs> at him. <laughs> okay. like, speaking of checking your opponent real quick, and Dark Hero is super ready for it, gets a huge opening, doesn't get the edge guard though. Oh, stomp. Oh, it doesn't get the knee. But the cat is rolling in his grave right now. Yeah, sometimes stomp knee kind of hard, you know? Like, it's, <laughs> but, like but when you're it's always in it. so cool. <laughs> dude, squid the cats. Have you seen his most recent ones? Dude, like, dude, so wild. His first, his first video. Here's a hundred stomp knees. All right. Yeah, some of them are kind of crazy. Releases the second video. A hundred more stomp knees. All right. You're getting kind of crazy now. He is having to resort to some wild shit now yeah, to get the, the third he's video. Doing, like, barrel combos off of like, uh, <laughs> yeah, the Donkey Kong Country stage. The one I just oh, saw yeah. utilized the uh, clap trap from the river on the Jungle Jape stage at the bottom. Oh, love it. And it's just like, oh my god, this guy is gonna find more and more stomp knees forever. I have to say that we got a stomp tech chase here starting off from SUJ. Double up there. Won't yep. quite seal the stock, but definitely a little worse for where is Dark Hero. Great oh. spot dodge here to break him out. Corner pressure. Now put in the hands of Whoa. Dark Hero. Let's dash down tilt there from Johnny. Not an option you see very much from Falcon, but it does get the job done. The back air edge cancels, kind of the edge guard setup he's been aiming for here. Kind of covers the high angle and then lets him snag the ledge afterwards. One more chance. Oh, okay. Down air. Tower spot need up air. Why not? All right, down tilt set up for the edge guard. Big juicy tits. Catch him by the ankle, throw him off stage with the tip of the sword. Yep. Ooh, barely misses. He swings as he does nair into forward smash here. Okay, great dash through, avoids Man, that guys. stop. Looking for one big opening here. A little bit of a teasing hits there. Doesn't quite get the continuation. Playing oh off the my shield god! Pivot, that is the Dark Hero special right there. They're both. I mean, his defense is so good that this match is looking almost like controlled, right? Like it's we're really so used hard to, to seeing... break into Dark Hero's like zone. Yeah. It's so difficult. You're so used to seeing Johnny matches being so wild and unpredictable, but right now Dark Hero's bringing some structure to this. It's like, no, no, we're gonna play by my rules. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's the biggest Ooh. compliment that. Every few seconds, someone in chat's like, is Dark Hero a smurf? This guy's insane. Right? <laughs> yeah, it's like, wait, no, he's just insane. Like, that's just a real human right there. <laughs> that's just getting stuck in the desert in West Texas for five, six yeah. years. That's just how it is. Yeah, damn. Finding the Nair here. Can Johnny find something? Push him into the corner again. This time he's mixing in the arrows from the ledge, so he's not getting too predictable with the ledge dash up tilts. He kind of got him some mileage in game one. Oh, another I side B to grab this time. Great anti-air there. Side B from Marth is one of the better things at stuffing Falcon's aerial approaches there, like short hop Nair and stuff. All right, great. Hackstash gets a little bit of a mix up there. Second hit of Nair. Edge guard sequence <laughs> does snap with the single side B. Oh, yeah, so you're back there trying to get one pop up here. Dark Hero <laughs> could take this game if he just gets one little knockout. Oh my god, he grabbed and doesn't get the butt grab there. Very surprising, and just like that, Dark Hero is looking to be in a prime position to take it. The really high recovery is not super easy to Oh, cut. mama. Yeah, Johnny gets to go to the top platform again. This is, oh my god, he falls with an aerial but doesn't find a he hit. should be dead here. Yep, this is a little Oh no! Four. Oh my god, we've seen Johnny clutch these out plenty this of This was like today. last game, what's going on yeah. here? Oh, he edge kills and air dodges. Now it should be There done. she is. Walks right up to the ledge this time and finds a forward smash that can't be avoided. Good stuff to Dark here. He's looking so good in this set right now. Game one was ultra competitive and he didn't fall off at all in game two. And in fact, taking the game. Yeah, so the the box Marth hidden boss from Texas putting up, like taking Johnny to the limit, not mm -hmm. only in this game two, but also in game one, you know, the same situation, but you know, Johnny happened to clutch it up and we're looking like, this is going to be probably one of my favorite sets in the last month, at least. He's also, I mean, Dark Hero right now is coming into this looking like one of the more comfortable Marths against Falcon. Like, all the Marths I've been watching recently seem like they're a little bit taken aback by this menace of a character. But Dark Hero looks like he's playing in his comfort zone the whole time. Like, yeah, it's hard. It's Johnny, you know? But he doesn't look out of his element at all. He's just playing his wall out game, and he's doing it so well. And it's, it's so crazy that, like, the mix-ups he's getting, just like that, a lot yeah. of the times these marks will instant up tilt or instant, you know, forward tilt off of that side B1 or go for side yeah. B2. But he's mixing in, you know, side B1 grab and getting so much mileage yeah. off of that 
um, introduction to that tech chase game, setting that he's already developed so much. Right, yeah. It's great when you can find your the parts of your game that are rehearsed and then find ways to weave your neutral straight to that. So. Johnny, though, starting to come out strong in this game three and saying, no, 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 no. Time to stop this narrative. I will be the one to be here. <laughs> Early stock advantage will go to SG. Ooh. Kind of a big mess up even there greater time. early stock advantage will go to SG. Yeah. Great double four there. Count there out dark, you're forward. already on a pretty substantial tech chase. Yeah. Kind of needs it right now, right? After a mistake like that. What well, was functionally an SB last stock, right? Like, Johnny had to take it, but... <laughs> Great ledge dash into CC grab. Are you kidding me? Oh, the slowest gentleman of all time. Actually, a missed gentleman. <laughs> right, dash is straight under that nair. You know that low profile from Mars can do a lot of little might make a lot of micro situations really go in the way of Mars favor. And the, yep, reverse uh, oh. knee off the ledge will do that up. Looking like a four stock, but. Yeah, it kind of shows how quickly cancel. a game can get away from you, right? It's like, the game looked very even, uh, stock one. And then stock two, he kind of SD'd, and stock three, Johnny kind of pulled ahead without losing his stock. And oh, just like that. Like, a minute has passed, and we're looking at a four stock, right? Like, that's kind of something that's like, you got to stay focused for an entire best of five in these, like, super ultra high level matches. And uh, I think Dark Hero just kind of lost focus for, like, maybe 10 seconds. And that's all it takes for Johnny to kind of pounce at you, right? I don't right, think he's been figured out or anything. Grab, I think he just kind of messed here. up. <laughs> I'm gonna find one more opening here. Like again, like you said, like it's all it takes is one big swing. Right. And maybe it can go back the way of Dark Hero if he plays yeah. his cards right. This way you one big opening for Johnny though. Yep. Closes out the three stock. He kinda had a, a big momentum shift on that game and kind of rode it all the way to the end there. So it's up to Dark Hero now to kind of put a stop to that and say, okay, I know what i'm doing in this matchup i kind of showed it in the first two games that was maybe the worst stage too um yeah getting dreamland out of the way saying well if i'm gonna get bopped may as well get bopped on the counter pick you know so yeah. it's like what are the rest of the counter picks pokemon stadium we've already seen the dark hero shown and yeah crazy proficiency and against falcon like we saw earlier against salt yeah. um right. in this specific matchup on that stage the tech chase potential the the carryover into platform tech chases continuing with juicy hits up up smash and up tilt and it looks like he's gonna just take that space that space away and mm -hmm. he's gonna suffocate him here on Yoshi's story. Yep, makes sense. It also gives him better platform follow-ups. That's definitely the biggest weakness about Dreamland is that you don't get to get those tippers on those platforms. So it's gonna be interesting to see. Already we're seeing like more presence when he's in center stage. It feels like he's threatening the whole stage now, right? A dash pivot up tilt for the platform tech chase. Are you kidding me? Come on. <laughs> He's, he's just giving him the edge guard. He's like, I'm yeah. not gonna make you hit me four more times. I'm, I'm I'm dead. I get it. I understand. You messed me up, dude. Move on. Finds the tech chase. Finally getting the tech chase on the tech in place too. We've seen him get a few reps of that now, and he really looks like he's falling into his element here. This looks like a reverse of the last game where the momentum is. Uh, oh my god! Oh. What is this guy doing? <laughs> Everybody relax. Put the guns down. <laughs> All right, three stocks apiece, but. I, I would have to say Dark Hero's firmly in the driver's seat. Mm -hmm. Definitely came into this game with a plan and uh, isn't rattled from the last game, right? <laughs> oh, try again. Oh, gets the soft hit. Yep. Gets one more chance to seal it away. Dark Hero gets a two up air continuation. Ooh. Does get a soft hit of Dolphin Slash there. But yeah, no it actually gets top. punished for it, so it's probably not worth going for. It's like. You have a good jungle situation there where it's like Marth has to fall into your giant sword, or sorry, Falcon has to fall into your giant sword and has no jump. Uh, you do get a guaranteed follow up with that soft dolphin slash, but eh, who knows? <laughs> Man, these pivot down tilts are so scary. <laughs> oh my god, who is this kid? <laughs> Johnny's like, exactly alright, enough of this kid nonsense. He just makes me angry. <laughs> If you can't find a way uh, to get through the wall normally, just Falcon King, you know? <laughs> Dark Hero is a pivot up tilt enjoyer. I love chat. <laughs> <laughs> you do be enjoying. Oh, the double back air, man. Dude, whenever right, Falcon cool. gets two of the same aerial, it hurts, man. <laughs> Uh, doesn't quite get the dash away under the uh, the nair, which he's done a handful of times. He's definitely um, been scouting out um, Johnny's uh, nair distances and been 
using Mars low profit profile to kind of skirt around and set him up for grabs, but looks like Johnny does get that pretty decent conversion off the stop me yeah. on the right side there. And Johnny's that's kind of one the of the first advantage here. Yep, that's kind of one of the double-edged swords of this counter pick. Falcon, who are very proficient at this stage, will use Stomp through the platform to catch him on the ground. And just Ooh. like that, Johnny converts another 